Section 15 of Captain Billy's Whizbang, Volume 2, Number 17, February 1921. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson. Captain Billy's Whizbang, Volume 2, Number 17, February 1921, by W. H. Fawcett smokehouse poetry part one whiz bang in its next issue will bring back to life robert w services lady that's known as a loo and the picturesque alaskan barroom of his tragical masterpiece the shooting of dan mcgrew but i want to state and my words are straight and i'll bet my poke they're true that one of you is a hound of hell and that one is dan mcgrew that's a flash of the trail which service leads to the realm of dangerous dan it will be republished in full in the March issue. The Editor The Shimmy Shaker by Carl M. Higden Did you ever hear the story of the shinny-shaking maid, who could shake a wicked shimmy, but of men she was afraid? She could shimmy in the morning, she could shimmy in the night, she could shimmy in the bedroom, she could shimmy loose or tight, she could shimmy in the ballroom, she could shimmy on the street she could shimmy after dinner with a wiggle slow and sweet she could shimmy on a mountain she could swim she could shimmy in a pool when it comes to shimmy shaking she's a shimmy shaking fool a tom fooler rhyme it was midnight on the ocean not a street car was in sight the sun was shining brightly and it rained all day that night it was a summer night in winter the rain was snowing fast a barefoot boy with shoes on stood sitting on the grass. It was evening, and the rising sun was setting in the west, and the little fishes in the trees were huddling in their nest. The rain was pouring down, the moon was shining bright, and everything that you could see was hidden out of sight. While the organ peeled potatoes, lard was rendered by the choir. While the sexton rung a dish rag, someone set the church on fire. Holy smoke! the preacher shouted. In the rain he lost his hair. Now his head resembles heaven, for there is no parting there. How's business? Business is poor, said the beggar. Said the undertaker, it's dead. Falling off, said the writing school teacher. The druggist, oh, vile, he said. It's all right with me, said the author. Picking up, said the man on the dump. My business is sound, said the bandman said the athlete i'm kept on the jump answer from your heart note the author of the following poem is an ex-sailor who now lives in long beach california it is a poem that all red-blooded men should read and then ponder a bit here is the writer's prelude explaining how he happened to bring forth such a gem in and out of the surface i have noted that when two or more men engage in conversation their talk eventually turns to women. Women, bad, indifferent, and sometimes good, is generally the chief topic of the man. But when one brings in some word about a good woman, he is often silenced by stares or cutting remarks. Recently I was confined in a naval brig, no need to mention the offense, and a conversation was being carried on in the bullpen that caused me to write the following lines. E. H. Gantenbein pipe down fellows let me talk please settle yourselves in comfort make yourselves at ease i have a few questions i'd like to put to you you'll find they're very aged not one of them is new you've just been talking women and the places you have been and the happy times you've had and the drunks on gordon gin while you tell of the pretty girl you met in gay perry and the one you took from your shipmate while he was far at sea the one at valparaiso you said she had black eyes and the girl who lives in frisco who took you by surprise you've jabbered for an hour or more and mentioned many a name you've travelled clear around the world and found no two the same now listen fellow shipmates while talking about your girls have you ever thought of the two at home more precious to you than pearls how they're watching waiting hoping sending prayers to god for you asking him to guide you onward to keep you straight and true 
believing in you always where'er you chance to roam looking forward to the time when you'll be coming home now i'll ask you fellow shipmates answer if you can have you always lived an honest life can you call yourself a man can you go back to your home town and make that girl your wife and clasp your mother in your arms and know you have that right now these are the questions i would ask so shipmates do your part think of the road you've travelled and answer from your heart a sailor's delight by harold taylor when i was young and handsome it was always my delight to go to balls and dances and stay out late at night twas at a ball i met him he asked me for a dance i knew he was a sailor by the buttons on his pants his shoes were nicely polished his hair was neatly combed i danced with him all evening then he asked to see me home he pressed me to him gently then heaved a heavy sigh and said dear nelly darling my love will never die now all you girls this warning just take a tip from me don't ever let a sailor take you sailing o'er the sea for he'll kiss you oh so sweetly and say there's none like you but when he gets that bit of love he'll sail across the blue the hophead blues by b t los angeles in this land of dopey dreams smiling hoppy-headed scenes where the chinamen are smoking all day long as i lay me down to sleep hoppy visions o'er me creep then i hear the snowbirds sing this evening song tam 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 the coke and morphine i can hear my mother's moan underneath the starry flag we must take another drag and return some day to our beloved home yep whiz bang readers here are some more selections written by a dope fiend the first of his series appearing in the january issue from the standpoint of human interest towards the unfortunate victim of the drug habit his poems are mighty interesting furthermore they point a strong moral to lay off the junk the editor tonight i lie in a filthy room reclined on a bamboo bunk with a bamboo pipe and a lighted pot and a dew spot smeared with junk for when i feel downcast and blue down to the dreamy chink i sneak where i can hit the hop and slumber forgetting the weary world a week passion's fire now barely smoulders dope has led me far astray still i think of the one who left me a year ago on christmas day my love for her has never left me and i know it never will even though i am a fiend to dope and a slave to the hashish pill but here i lie in a suey bow with another night half spent with a pipe and a card of poppy mud and a hop cook from the orient end of section fifteen